<clears throat> Good afternoon. In this video, we are going to analyze the effects no, uh, from the um, uh, signals, analog inputs, no, analog, analog signals coming no, uh, to the DAC. This is a DAC an acquisition card of Nationary Instruments. No, I working with uh, two signals as an input, analog inputs. One of them is coming from this thermocouple, no, contact thermocouple, which is in processing uh, no, to the AD Vinify, no, compensate and the gain value and give it this value to the DAC. Okay? And the other signal, analog signal, is from this um, this voltage from this resistance. AC voltage, which is in parallel to the uh, principal resistance, uh, who gets increased the temperature by Joule effect. Okay, we have two signals to analyze. And the other signal is in output signals, no? which is coming from this point, no? from the DAC, as an effect to um, turn around, turn around. No? The, um, this is the actor to the plant. Okay, this is a, a simple design. And this is the effect, this is increasing the temperature, but here, um, we should have understand what is happening, windows, and choosing uh, up and down, and increase the dimensions here. Okay, and analyze what is happening with the duct. No, I uh, working with two ducts for uh, representing the duct here. No, represented as a code. Okay, return to the front panel. No? Increase the dimensions and stop no? to work in secure. Stop here and return to the block diagrams. Okay, here. Uh, I go to delete this to operate. Delete, no? there is node now. And I go to delete these representations of the DAC, okay, disappear, um, and this signal, oh, disappear, uh, and this signal too. Uh, I go to choose that, and the print, okay. Pay attention, we are going to analyze this code this code is um, a PID to control and monitoring the temperature no, from the thermal plate. But the importance is how is working the dark. No? How is working the dark? Okay, now we are choosing the dark, generate signal, and look for dark, this gear, and put, okay, put gear. And we have two options, accurate signal and generate signal. And accurate signal. We are working with analog input, okay, as a voltage. And choosing the first one, okay, and finish, clicking finish. I go here. No? Um, I choose this for the temperature. You can change the name, rename, okay. Um, I decide name as a temperature, okay, temperature equivalent. Temperature equivalent. E equivalent. Okay? Click here. Change the name. And the maximum value is 10 voltage. It's okay. The maximum value here will be uh, 5 voltage. But a uh, reference uh, 10 voltage could not be that. Um, here I delete and put uh, minim the minimum value is 0 voltage. The unit is voltage. And choose here is differential, and you have another options. I decide ROZ. Why I decide ROZ? Because I working with this signal, and the reference is the respect ground. For these reasons, I work it with ROZ. Okay? Uh, don't forget that. And I working with um, continuous samples. Okay? Continuous samples because uh, the signal is coming from analog input. No? For the reasons I decide continuous samples. And the sample to read, uh, one kilo, no. I decide uh, at least 100, 
100 uh, samples to read, and the rate is one kilohertz, okay? This is from one signal, temperature signal, as equivalent as a voltage. And we have two signals to uh, analyze as an input, and choose at, clicking at, and decide voltage. Uh, we work it with one, and now we work it with uh, port number zero, and click it on OK, OK, and rename that, and rename, this is the name, um, as is an AC voltage from the resistance, OK, I put the name AC voltage. You decide the name you can want, click it on OK, and the maximum value is 10 voltage, and the minimum value, because I'm working with AC signals, I decide minus, no, uh, minus 10 voltage as a minimum value, uh, okay, the units is in voltage. Uh, I'm working with uh, differential. Why differential? Because uh, it's not respect grounds. I measure the signals, which is point by point. No? Voltage point by point from this resistance. Analyze, and don't forget that, please. No? For these reasons, you should um, choose differential. Okay? Don't forget that. And continuous sample, no, it's okay because it's an analog input. Um, sample to read 100, um, okay, one kilohertz as a right. Good. Ah, if you can want uh, watch as a connecting diagram, for this case, this is uh, the port number zero. No? You can watch by clicking connecting diagrams and return here. And the temperature, you can watch the connecting diagrams is okay because this is the number uh, one port number one okay i return to express the task and click it on okay okay this is saving here this is saving wait please wait now uh, what is the mean here the mean is uh, we are operate the signal which is analog inputs no analog inputs temperature and ac voltage no? is converting as a value no? in equivalent a DC. Analog input converted to DC values no? from this uh, DAC acquisition card. No? These uh, values coming from the computers no? and gold is the representations of the DAC and this value as a numbers, we are going to decide working with these numbers. No? This is um, inputs values not to effect in these codes. For the reasons, we come in these values and click here, okay, to represent the actions of operates the, uh, these uh, two input signals to break here. No? Okay. Uh, look at here, please. Now we are going to work as an effect from the DAC another uh, mm, give actions from the computer to the actor. How is happening here when you choose generate signals? Uh, analog output, because we are working with a voltage, okay? A0, choose A0, please, choose A0, please. Uh, click in finish, okay? Uh, maximum value, five voltage, minimum value is zero voltage, uh, voltage uh, RSZ, RSZ because it reference a ground. This is DC values. It's coming for these reasons, from the codes, specifically the, the uh, control codes, the PID codes, uh, take an actions from the computer to the actuator. For the reasons, have two values, zero values and five values, voltage, zero voltage and five voltage, no? Two values, okay? And choose uh, one sample on the main, it's okay. And click it on okay. And wait here, this is saving, 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 okay. This is the signal process here, but we want to give an action to that. For the reasons, give the signal, look at here please, it's coming from the code, specifically from the PID. No, operate a given action to the uh, DAC, no, from the DAC to the actuator. Okay? And this is um, a track we are des I designing using the tracks, looking for the error, and click it here. What is happening here when something is in is wrong and an error? The value zero turn off this code. Okay. This is the representations of the codes. Save this value, please. Uh, save all. No. 
Now I disconnect him because um, something no, is happening in one year old. I reset this one. Okay, now we are going to return to the here, 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 to the front panel, click on front panel, and run the software, and this is working again. Okay, now for this reason, we have a good uh, codification to the DAC. No, this is the fact, it's increasing the temperature, but I don't explain that. My um, interest was that you understand what is happening with the DAC. Is my interest here in this video. No, that you understand what is happening with the DAC. Specifically, no, pay attention, please. Uh, when you decide to work with the DAC, you need to save this, uh, this device, electronic device. Uh, for, um, look at, look at. For example, I decide working with um, a high impedance to reduce the quantity of current which is passing from the DAC, no? Uh, to secure this electronic device. Uh, the experience values are working as a maximum value, five milliampers. For the reason I increase the impedance, okay? Uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye, see you.